Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a monthly reading for the month of May for Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Sagittarius, please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles can be reversed. And what that means is that this could be something that's going on around you. This could be something that someone else is doing. This could be something that you're doing. This could pertain to love, your personal life, your family life, your finances, um, all that stuff. Okay, it's not just pertaining to just romantic love. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box below. If you're on YouTube and if you're on Facebook, that will be in the comment section below, okay? Um, you can just email me at lunarlogictarot1111 at gmail.com. All right, let's see. What else? If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for being part of the Lunar Logic family, and I appreciate you coming. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber or follower on my Facebook, thank you so, so much for being here, for all your continued love and support. I am truly grateful, and I wouldn't be here without you. All right, let's get into it, Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius this month? Sagittarius, show me Sagittarius, please. Get some tea leaf cards first. Okay. We got carrot. It says opportunity or windfall. So you're chasing after something. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay. So something that's going to be enlightened to you. Chain of events that affect your, affect your life. Okay. So you chasing after something, you're going to get some form of enlightenment about whatever it is that you're chasing. Or someone, it's like someone's dangling carrot in front of your face. But there's going to be a chain reaction here or a chain of events that's going to be changing that for you. So let's see. What's this carrot about? Show me carrot, please. Okay. We've got teapot. It says deep friendship with someone of the same sex. You feel like this someone is a friend that could be dangling something in front of your face. It says flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay. Don't lower your standards for anybody. And if it's about love, don't lower your standards in love. Okay. But you need to see something. You need to gain some type of awareness about your own actions because if not, you're gonna tr you're gonna trigger some chain of events that are gonna happen. You got dog here, um, pleasure with a close friend. Something's coming up uh, for you about a friend and love. Someone's trying to help you see something from a different perspective. It could be a friend that's trying to do this for you. But if you don't see this, you don't get this lesson or this um, enlightenment here, you're going to trigger some type of chain of events in your life that may not be favorable. What's this chain of events? Let's see. Let's see what this chain of events are. Show me chain of events, please, for Sagittarius. You got table, hard work ahead, and target a goal-oriented person. So I heard just heard tables are turning. Tables are turning. But are they turning in your favor? What's this? Okay. Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. So it's not turning in your favor. I just heard turkey butt. I don't know what that means. But turkey butt? Someone's being a turkey butt or you're being a turkey butt? I don't know what that means. That could mean something to you. That Someone could be throwing insults at you and calling you a turkey butt. I also heard butthead. So... I don't know what you're doing. Let's see. What's it? What is this about, Spirit? Because I'm confused. Okay, it could involve. Okay, you could be have. You got several things going on. You fight with people. You fight with a loved one, a uh, partner, possibly over money. You could be thinking that a friend is l wanting to get cheap work from you. Um, but I don't think that's the case. Um, what is this? Tell me more. It's something about friendship here. A friend is going to, okay, a friend could be calling you an ass. And a friend is telling you you got to get your head out of your ass this month. Regarding your finances and your love life. Um, if you trust this friend, I would take their their uh, guidance. Obviously, you have the choice, right? But, you know, I would hear them out because you got size here as well. Like, it's just always the same thing over and over and over again. But I feel like... 
you're experiencing these chain of events over and over again because someone's behaving stupidly. That could be you. could be someone else. Because you haven't learned the lesson yet. You haven't hit your target about learning and your enlightenment about what it is that actually that you're doing versus what someone else is doing. You can't change another person. You can only change yourself. Um, you really need to focus on your finances, though. You got money coming in. Are you trying to get a large sum of money from a friend? What's this friend about? Loss. You might be losing a friend over finances this month. You could be losing a female friend or a lover over finances this month as well. What size? What's the sigh about? Enemy. You're finding out that you have an enemy here or someone feels, someone looks at you as an enemy in secret. Because you're not being honest. Or they're not being honest. Remember, roles can be reversed. What is this money about? Show me money. Sadness. Loss of money. There could be loss of money or sadness over finances here. There's someone around you that's sad over money or you're sad over money. What's this loss about? Merriment. Loss of happiness and a friendship or a love connection as well. Um, you, Someone is secretly desiring your downfall here and it could be a lover. Because you're not listening to them. You're not paying attention to them. You're not hearing them out. You're not giving them a say. I'm also getting you guys or somebody here slinging insults at each other. Um, in some fashion or slinging something, slinging shit at one another, talking shit, being hateful towards one another. That's going to cause the dissolve of a relationship if it's romantic. If it's friendship, same thing. I feel like there's a friend that's going to try to help you gain some form of enlightenment here, but you need to heed what they're saying. Um, obviously, you have free will and you can make your own choices, but I would heed what this friend is saying because I feel like this friend has your best interest at heart. And I, that, I feel like you really need to pay attention to what they're possibly saying to you because it might benefit you to do so. Okay, let's get some tarot. What else, please? For Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius, please. You're very indecisive here about what action that you're going to be taking. You need to come to some type of conclusion here and you use clarity. Um, you're, t you're indecisive about an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're also being petty and hurtful towards somebody. That is your card, Queen of Wands, reverse. You're being petty, possibly even jealous, and for hurting somebody, like hurting somebody's feelings one too many times, and that's why they have their sword up. There's an air sign around you that's got their sword up because you've hurt them one too many times. What else, please? Yeah, be careful of car accidents or not being able to travel, possibly even losing your keys, but there's no movement forward in this connection, friendship or romantic. Um, there's blockages in intuition. There's things that are being hidden from you or you are hiding things from somebody. I feel like you're hiding money manner, money matters for somebody. You're, you're not making a clear cut decision here. You're not being honest and that's going to cost you in the end. It's going to cost you. You got two, two, two here. This is about relationship, um, friendship, family dynamics, lovers. You, you need to self mastery yourself. I just heard check yourself before you wreck yourself, Sagittarius. Um, you're indecisive about a soul contract, whether that's family, friends, or lovers. You're hiding things from somebody, and that's putting somebody on the defense because of that, because you're not being fully honest and transparent. That's putting someone on the defense and not making them want to move forward with you because you're not being transparent with them. And quite honestly, if, if someone isn't transparent with me, I don't want to fuck with that person. I don't want to deal with that person because if they'll lie to me or they'll lie to somebody else, then they'll lie to me, and I ain't got time for all that shit. And I feel like someone's really defensive with you because you're not being fully honest and transparent. You're also not accepting accountability and responsibility for your own shit. And that is also making someone very defensive with you. Someone's trying to use logic with you, and you don't want to hear it. I got wake up. For guidance here and it says it's your moment but you need to wake up here you need to gain some form of enlightenment you need to wake up and smell the roses smell the coffee in the morning you need to pay attention I wonder what will happen next ready to adventure precipice of change pause before action um, you're, you're pausing you're not heading towards somebody or someone's not heading towards you because I feel like someone's gonna get a wake-up call this month what else for guidance for Sagittarius and it's not investigate Leah also got investigate and what will happen next, I think. Um, you need to look deeper into why somebody's defensive with you. 
either they're lying to you or they know you are lying to them. And that's why they're being standoffish and a little on the stingy side because they know that you're lying to them. One second. So that's why they're they're being standoffish. What else? Impossible things. Working through disbelief. Imagination. What? Yeah, imagination leaps, fresh perspective. You need to gain a new perspective on something. You need to transform the way you see this person or this situation. I feel like there's going to be, again, a friend that's going to try to help you see something from a different perspective, a side that maybe you didn't think of or maybe a side that you're not willing to see yet, but they're going to help you and help you understand why somebody's so defensive with you. It's because either they know for a fact that you're lying or they, or they themselves are lying. Okay? Well, Sagittarius, that has been your reading for May. I hope this helps you, finds you well. Please like this video. Please comment if it resonates. Comment if it doesn't. Remember, roles can be reversed. And, um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Um, I really would appreciate it. Thank you so much. I love you. Take care of yourself till next time.